Eyewitness Weather Forecast. All right, welcome back, everyone. Good evening, T. I'm Chief Meteorologist Craig Flint. We are live at Babes Harbor Point uh, this evening for something really cool. So uh, if you can sing and you want to give uh, the national anthem a shot, you come down here tonight. We're here through about 8, 8.30. Your opportunity to get up and give the national anthem uh, a shot. It's a difficult song to sing, but if you uh, come down, you have the opportunity to be featured uh, singing the national anthem at the Boilermaker Post Party Road Race coming up, usually in front of thousands of people. So come on down, why not? If I started singing, they might take me to the hospital. All right, let's talk about what's going on weather-wise tonight. So a lot of clouds still, some smokiness too uh, has built into uh, the region here. Temperatures right now are still cool in the low 60s. The dew point though has come way down in the 50s. So it's much, much more comfortable out there. Uh, and tonight it will be cooler, more comfortable. Lows dropping into the upper 50s. A couple sprinkles left over, but that's about the extent of it. And then tomorrow, some smoke early, but that will thin out and skies will become partly to mostly sunny, comfortable humidity, warm, a high near 80. So here's a look at uh, Doppler radar right now. And you can see that uh, low pressure that's been kind of languishing over us is now shifting away. Nothing more than a few sprinkles left over as we go through the uh, evening hours. So here's what to expect. We're watching some of that wildfire smoke. The thickest and heaviest smoke is to the west right now. And we're going to see this kind of come in waves through the course of the day. We get a break from the humidity tonight into tomorrow, but it comes roaring back by Friday. And so do rain chances. Now, like this past weekend, I don't think it's going to rain every hour all the time, but there will be some scattered storms developing as we go uh, into the weekend. Take a look here at the visible satellite imagery and uh, what you can see here is uh, a little bit of what we call uh, that wildfire smoke, that kind of hazy look that you see right there to the sky. That's that plume of wildfire smoke that's continuing to pivot its way to the east. Air quality now is uh, in the 100s, 130s actually. So if you look at the scale, that is down in the uh, unhealthy category. Uh, so if you have uh, you know, sensitive or some sort of lung ailment, uh, that is gonna be an issue uh, here as we go through the evening. But you can see where the air quality is really worsening, especially to the south and west, as that plume of smoke continues to roll east, uh, we will see our air quality be impacted. So here's a look at satellite Doppler radar. Two mechanisms here, low pressure to the north, high pressure to the west. The flow between those kind of ushering that wildfire smoke into the region. And again, because of that, we have air quality alerts that are in effect this evening. So unhealthy for sensitive groups. We think the smoke thins out through the day on Thursday with more sun, comfortable humidity near 80, but it will turn more humid again by Friday upper 80s and then we get into the weekend with some scattered storms around not every hour all the time but into the afternoon yes uh, and even a few storms around into the 4th of July all right back out here live come on down to Babes Harbor Point say hi try your chance uh, at singing the national anthem I'm meteorologist Craig Flint let's send it back to you Jane in the studio all right thanks Craig let's take a look at what's coming up tonight on News Nation